In this video, we're going to do something really cool, and we're just going to go over basically how to get file contents. Just sort of prove that from the terminal, we can access internet contents, right? So specifically, HTML and raw text. Um, this doesn't. This isn't going to display things like a browser would. It's not that advanced, but. Let me just show you this. So I have this Wikipedia article on Christmas music. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl it and kind of think of like, this is going to take a second. So just kind of think of it as like heavy lifting. That's what it's doing. It's curling. So imagine it's just like the terminal is just curling up like a 80 pound, 100 pound weight. It's just biceps are just massive, right? And that's what is getting us, right? So if we look in here, we see that we're getting um a lot of different stuff right so we've got uh status code 200 which is basically just saying this is good to go here's the content uh the content is some html right we have um over on the site we have a search form at the top like the search wikipedia right and then we have some images looks like we got a lot of images in here and we have some input fields these are things this is just the contents of the website, right? So this is something really neat, but um, it just is not to say like, hey, let's, you know, there's not like too much you can do um, with, there's a lot you can do with curl, but like if I clear this, right, I show you what's in here. It didn't create a file. It didn't create a new directory. Like there's nothing in here that has um, those contents, right? However, it's just interesting to see that we can grab things from the internet with our PowerShell and that's something really powerful and then you know you just have to be aware that that is something you can do so um, anyhow see you in the next video